Hey everybody, we're here with the Linode YouTube channel. Uh, today we're with uh, Frank from uh, Nextcloud. How's it going? Very good, very, very good. Yeah. It's like a first time to be at a real event again since COVID. I know. Me, so it's yeah. uh, really uh, crazy, but awesome. Yeah, this is my first time at scale. Yeah. I've been to like Linux Fest Northwest and a couple others. Yeah, yeah. How are you enjoying your experience so far? Uh, I really love it. I yeah. mean, I really like scale. I've been here many, many times, so it's really great to be back. Yeah, it's so great. So um, for everyone who doesn't know, could you explain what Nextcloud is? Yeah. So Nextcloud is um, like what Gartner calls a content collaboration platform. That's a bit of a weird uh, name. It's basically something similar to Google Workspace or Microsoft 365 or Dropbox and all these services, but 100% open source and you can run it wherever you want. Yeah. And can, like, put it on Raspberry Pi and you have your full chat, video conferencing, calendar, files, photos, everything for your family. Um, so yeah, all where you want. Cool. And you guys offer support for uh, Nextcloud as well? Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, our the business model is the software is like free for everybody. Download it, use it, do whatever you want. But if you're a big organization, you probably want like like professional support from us, and that's what we sell. Yeah. You, you mentioned your business model. Uh, when I, what I found is like a uh, open source project is only as good as its business model. If you want, <laughs> if you intend to make it's money, definitely very important. Yeah. yeah. So how do you figure uh, Nextcloud fits into the? Uh, uh, it, the, the open source definition? I mean, I'm doing open source since the like, end of the 90s, yeah. like for 24 years. Awesome. So I'm, I'm fully committed to open source. I also was <laughs> involved in many, many other open source projects. KDE, for example, for a while, was a board member there. So for me, it was never the question that uh, Nextcloud should be open source. Yeah. Uh, the actual business model, like how to do it exactly, this is the result of many, many years of experimenting and brainstorming and changing it with the whole team. Yeah, cool. And one last question, PHP. How, how do you figure uh, PHP fits into this whole situation? <laughs> I just want to clarify, I actually really like PHP. <laughs> I, I think you need to, uh, you need to um, think what your requirements are, what you want to achieve, and then you use the right technology for it. Cool. Like every technology has its pros and cons, and yeah. you just need to decide what's the right one. Right. PHP uh, was chosen because it is like the uh, scripting languages, a language that runs on basically every internet server somewhere. Yes. Uh, it's like, like super portable, and everybody has it installed. And um, one of the design goals of Nextcloud was and still is that you it should be enough that you just unpack a folder on your server, and it should work. Yeah. You don't even need to have root access. Right. I mean, root is helpful because you can do some performance fine-tuning, but you don't really don't need to. Just unpack the zip file and it's installed. Right. And this only works with PHP. Yeah, I, that, I, that's one of the things I love so much about PHP. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you uh, sure. uh, being on video with us today.